I'm hey, sorry. you know what? Get the hell out of here if you don't like this kind of uh, preaching. What? Then get the hell out of my church. I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. You know, I don't believe in a young earth. And then the big dumb animal, Keith Gomez, just sits there and listens to him preach this. Well, here we got the Andersonite underling, Bruce Mejia, peddling the myth that dispensationalism and the pre-trib rapture was invented in 1830 by John Nelson Darby. It's a classic lie, and I'll debunk that in this video right here by showing you uh, examples of dispensational teaching, not just in the 1600s, but as far back as the 2nd century. So stay tuned for that. But here's a clip of Bruce Mejia parroting this, this age-old myth and talking point that it was invented in the 1830s by John Darby. And the separation of the rapture, the catching away of the church from Christ's second coming. At the rapture, he said, Christ will come for his saints, and at the second coming, he will come with his saints. He's the one that coined that phrase. Well, prior to 1830, no church thought, taught in their creed this matter of the, the imminence of Christ. Okay? So he says, he reads from this, this thing on his paper, and says that no creed had taught the imminent, imminence of Christ or pre trip rapture before 1830. Really? Let's see about that. This is from the works of Joseph Mead uh, in 1672. Uh, this is book four, page 776. Let's see what it says. Just remember, nobody before 1830 taught this. Well, here's something before 1830 that taught that. This, this is in 1672. It says, quote, I will add this more, namely, what may be conceived to be the cause of this rapture of the saints on high to meet the Lord in the clouds, rather than to wait his coming on earth, uh, what if it be that they may be preserved during the uh, conflagra conflagration, older English, not good at that, of the earth by the works thereof, Second Peter three ten, that of Noah and his family were preserved from the deluge, uh, sorry, the judgment being lifted from above the waters of the ark. So should the saints at the conflagration be lifted up in the clouds unto their ark to be preserved from the deluge of fire, wherein the wicked shall be consumed. Huh. That's the that's pre-trib rapture right there. This is in 1672. Works Again, this is the works of Joseph Mead, 1672, book 4, page 776. But here's some more. Here's something from the 2nd century. This is the uh, this is Irenaeus against Heresies, book 5, chapter 29. Those nations, however, who did not of themselves raise up their eyes unto heaven, nor return uh, thanks to their maker, no wish to behold the light of truth, but who were like the blind mice concealed in the depths of ignorance, and the word justly reckons for as waste water from a sink, and as the turning weight of the balance, in fact of nothing, uh, sorry, and far useful and serv serviceable to the just, as stubble con uh, conduces towards the growth of the wheat, and that straw by means of combustion serves for working gold, and therefore wherein the end, the church shall be suddenly caught up from this, as it is said, there shall be tribulation from such as has not been since the beginning, neither shall be, and for this last, uh, for this last, uh, for this last is the last contest of the righteous, in which uh, they are overcome and crowned with incorruption. They're caught up, and he talks about, you know, before this thing of there shall be tribulation. Huh. This is from the second century. Again, irony is against heresies, book five, chapter twenty-nine. So this is from the second century. If you want some dispensational teaching that is before eighteen thirty, I'll give that to you as well. This is also against heresies by Irenaeus, book four, uh, paragraph chapter, th or sorry, uh, book four, and paragraph three. It says as therefore he has promised to give very much to those who do now bring forth fruit according to the gift of his grace, but not according to the changeableness of knowledge. For the Lord remains the same, and the same Father is revealed. Thus, therefore, has one and the same Lord granted by means of his advent a greater gift of grace than to those of, the, of a later period than what he had granted to those under the Old Testament dispensation. Here's another example of pre-Darby dispensational teaching. This is the, this is the dispensational system made up by Henry Finch in 1621. First dispensation from the creation to the flood. Second dispensation from the flood to the promise made to Abraham. Third dispensation from the promise to the giving of the law. Fourth dispensation from the law on uh, Exodus uh, from Egypt to the building of the temple. Fourth dispensation from the building of the temple to Nebuchadnezzar burning the temple. And he also has nine other, he has a uh, six, seven, eight, and nine other, or sorry, he has dispensation six, seven, eight, and nine. 
I'm not going to read all of them for sake of time, but this is Henry Finch, The World, the World's Great uh, Restoration, or Calling of the Jews, London, 1621, page 174 to 177. Yeah, it has existed before 1830. The pre-trip rapture and dispensational teaching has been there before 1830. So sorry, Bruce Mejia, you're just parroting talking points that are not true and that have been debunked uh, long before you came along, before Anderson started this cult. Anyway, don't be deceived by this group. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.